you're here and you're seeking out this type of information, then something pretty important is happening in your mind and in your heart. And I want to acknowledge you guys for that because it's the first powerful step to change. All right. So I want to welcome you to the Plant, Plant Power Woman Show, the weekly Wednesday live stream that I host in this group every single week, which our group members look forward to every week. And they set their, their Google alarms for it and they show up on time because it starts promptly at 7 p.m. Eastern every single Wednesday, different coaching topics. So if you're new to the group, say hi, let me know so that I can say hi to you. Sherry. Nice to meet you. Lisa Huey, love to see you here every single week. Linda Combs, high five. Um, okay, so here's what we're gonna do tonight. I'm gonna introduce myself to our new members who don't yet know me. I wanna tell you my story of where I've been and how I got here. Again, so that you know that I started out just like you. I was terrified for my health and if I can do this, if I can turn it all around, then so can you. And I also want to let you know what you can expect in this Facebook group because this group is probably going to be different than any other Facebook group you've ever been involved with. And it's part of my new vision I have for this group to be even more powerful than it was before. So let's start it off with a question. Hey Donna, how are you? Donna Katz, new to the group, welcome. So let's start it off with a question. How many of you, let me know, are you already vegan? Are you vegan curious? Are you already vegetarian? Or are you already following a whole food plant-based lifestyle? Let me know in the comments, which are you? So that I can see like how many of everybody there is, okay? So while you guys are um, commenting in the group, I'm gonna tell you why I started this group. Okay, here we go. Back in 2014, I felt a lump in my breast. And, you know, I thought I was living a healthy lifestyle already. I was following the standard American diet, but I thought I was doing it healthier. I ate turkey bacon and, you know, low fat milk and whatever all the stupid things are that we all do. And, um, and, and I, I didn't think anything of the lump. So I went to the doctor, showed him the lump showed her the lump and you know they did the they they did the ultrasounds and all those things and the MRIs and the doctor called me up and said you have invasive ductal carcinoma and I, I was like what and she goes you have invasive ductal carcinoma stage two and I was like what what are you saying because I didn't even know the words like do you even know what those words mean? I never heard those words before I was 47 years old so she said, you have breast cancer, you need to come in. And I was like, no, 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 that, that can't be me. I'm healthy, I jog, I jog with my dogs. You know, I, you know, I was actually, let me just tell you guys, I was 35 pounds overweight the whole time, but I thought, you know, and I weighed like 170 or something, and, and I thought, that's just the way I am. I have a big fat ass, and that's just the way I am. I didn't know there was anything that I could do about it, although I kept trying to work out and work it off and run it off and all those things. I just didn't know there was anything else I could do. So when they started to tell me I had cancer, and she was telling me I had to remove my breasts, I had to go through chemotherapy, radiation, I did all the things. I had the surgeries, these are not mine. I had all the surgeries. Um, I went through nine months of chemotherapy. I had 35 radiation treatments and when they were all done, um, I went in to see the doctor and she said, you're cancer free, but you have to keep coming back every three months and we'll tell you when the cancer comes back. And I was like, what? The cancer comes back? What are you talking about? I couldn't believe what she was saying, like could not believe it. And she said, well, yes, with, you know, grade three, stage two, grade three, invasive ductal carcinoma, you know, cancers can come back. There's all kinds of cancer cells in there. They can come, it can come back. So, um, so I didn't know what to think about that, but I did remember 
that I know about superfoods and I knew about kale and I shopped at Whole Foods and I knew about organics and I thought to myself that there's gotta be something about the food. So for my next visit, I went back to her and I asked her, I was like, you know, t I know about superfoods. Tell me what to eat that, you know, that heals cancer and I'm gonna eat that or tell me what to, not to eat that causes cancer and I'm not gonna eat that. And she looked me right in the eye and she said to me, it doesn't matter what you eat. You have cancer and it can come back. It doesn't matter what you eat. And I said, come on, tell me the truth. I know about superfoods. And she goes, none of that matters. You need to come here. You need to come back. And I was really mad. I was really mad at her for not encouraging me to like eat healthy foods or anything like that. And so... I said to her, I think it does matter. And I went home and I started Google searching, searching Dr. Google, you know how we do that, you guys? You guys search Dr. Google furiously with fingers like that. Um, and I was searching cancer and nutrition, um, food and breast cancer, and I came across the documentary, Forks Over Knives. Let me know in the comments if you have seen the documentary Forks Over Knives and what you thought about it when you saw it. So I watch this documentary and I hear Dr. T. Colin Campbell, the most, world's most foremost researcher on cancer cells and animal protein. He's telling about his 35 year research about it. He simply says, we found that eating animal protein turns cancer cells on and not eating animal protein turns cancer cells off. And I thought, oh my God, that's exactly the thing for me. That's the thing I need to do. And that's how I got started on this lifestyle. I simply took the bull by the horns. Um, <laughs> and I simply went on the Forks Over Knives website and I just started looking at the recipes and I just started cooking it and eating it. And my husband, watched that documentary with me so he knew exactly what I wanted to do, even though he didn't really agree with it. All right, um, Maureen is saying yes, very informative. Patricia says yes. Linda, love forks over knives. Sherry said loved forks over knives. Sherry said yes, wow, mind blown. Unless you search out this information you are never going to find it. You are just never going to have it drop into your lap unless you're searching it out. So again, the fact that you're here in this group shows that you have the strength of mind and heart to search out the information and see how you can take control of yourself and take back your health. And so that's what I did. I ate that way. I worked through all the obstacles and problems and all of the things and I lost 40 pounds and I now look like this all the time, which is such a pleasure. And in my whole adult female life, I never felt this good, looked this good, was this strong or, or anything else. I think I'm aging in reverse, literally. And it's, it's such a pleasure to share this story. So that is why I started this group. So. Um, so let's go back and see what you guys are saying, whether you're vegan or, let's see, Sherry is vegan curious, Linda is whole food plant based, no oil, yes, Linda cooks with me in the Plant Power Preppers Club, yes, um, Maureen says I'm whole food plant based, no oil, needing new ideas, I'm the new idea queen over here for that. You know, my recipes link is there. If you need it, type into the comments recipes and I'll make sure I tag you specifically. Sabrina says, vegan transforming to whole food plant-based. So yes, very smart. There's a big difference between vegan and whole food plant-based and it makes all the difference in your health. Although both are excellent in the fact that you are not harming animals. That's the most important thing there. Okay, so so let's talk about what you can expect as a member of this group. So number one, free weekly live stream coaching tips and tricks. Um, and that's the weekly Wednesday live stream, the Plant Power Woman show that we're doing right now. 
Um, and don't be late because I start promptly on time as you saw from today. So if you're late, you'll miss the beginning of the topic and you won't be able to know what we're doing. So um, what else are we gonna do in this group? I will be asking you questions probably every week, questions that are meant for to prompt you to think deeper on your journey, questions of things I wanna know about what you're struggling with or what you are triumphant with. Um, whatever the questions are, sometimes I'll ask questions in these live streams, sometimes I'll ask the question in a post, sometimes I'll ask the question in a poll, um, and I expect answers because if, if, if you just look at the question, you're like, yeah, that's a good question, and you don't answer, then how do you move forward, and how do I move forward, right? Sherry says, your recipes look delicious. I think my family would love these. Well, let me tell you, these recipes are tried and tested in my Pramp Power Preppers Club. That's our live cooking membership. We cook twice a month live, so they're tested there. And then these are also favorite recipes at our retreats that we hold. So we hold week-long retreats where you can learn to cook this way and live this way. And these recipes are the favorites. So, okay. So I will be asking you questions. I will be expecting you to like answer or think or push the conversation forward, right? All right, number three, we're gonna do free live Q and A's on different topics. So um, I might hold a Q and A all about carbs next week or whatever it is. And this is an opportunity for you to ask me questions and get your questions answered live by an expert that you can trust. Okay, um, and then also I will be posting my new whole food plant-based no oil recipes as I develop them, um, one or two per month. Every single month I come up with new recipes that you know aren't like any others, and so you know you're always going to be welcome to that. Um, but also in this group. I want to see your whole food plant-based no oil food posts. I want you to post your pictures. Not if it looks disgusting though. Make sure that it looks pretty and it looks appetizing because you don't want to scare newcomers to the group, okay? It's something to think about that your food looks as beautiful as it tastes, as it smells, because you're using all of your senses to delight yourself. So making your food look appealing and taking a beautiful photo of it is worth it, okay? All right, um, so you will definitely get more out of this group the more you contribute to it and the more that you um, participate and bring your own value to the group. Um, Melissa, yes, Melissa, feel free to private message me and ask me anything. Anybody can go into the private messages and ask me anything or you can ask me right here in the comments, whatever. Okay, um, I'm here for all of you. So on top of all those free resources which you can find in this group, which I have shown you in the welcome post in the guide section, there's a whole bunch of wonderful free resources. I have paid groups, classes, weight loss programs, and they are absolutely on fire, right? We are moving forward in different directions. And you're gonna hear me talking about those, posting about those, or offering those at different times along the way, along with success stories of the women going through these classes and programs, and that's to inspire you and motivate you. So I want you to know that I'm here for those of you that just want the free resources, you're just beginning, you just wanna learn, you're in the learning phase, but I'm also here for those of you that want the coaching, that want me to hold your hand, that want the personal attention, that want the inside track to the weight loss and the health results, that start from day one of working with me. So let me just say this right here. If you feel weird about me talking about my programs and classes or selling them or offering them, or you don't want that, then this might not be the best group for you, right? Any one of you can remove yourself from the group at any time with no hard feelings. I only want to be teaching and talking and interacting with those of you that want to have these conversations about taking back our health and how we can do it. So this group is private, 
It's exclusive. I have those three questions. If you answer the questions, you can be admitted into this group. Um, and it's definitely not for everybody, right? Not everybody is for everybody. You might like hate the way I look or not like anything that I'm saying, and that's okay. So here's the truth also. Um, you've likely tried some version of this lifestyle already or been looking around the internet and you're not sure where to start, you haven't gotten the results that you want, and you think you should be able to do this all by yourself, and so you might have cheat sheets, you might be attending webinars, you might have other how to go vegan challenges and guides, you might be in a million recipe Facebook groups, you might have downloaded meal plans, you might have some other apps, you might have tried to take a class, plant-based cooking class of something, you have probably a million recipes and YouTube videos tagged, cooking videos. Um, can any of you relate to that? Do you ever go down a recipe video rabbit hole on YouTube? Um, even I do that. So, um, so I have many of those resources in this group, again, for those of you in the learning phase, but for those of you that want the straight inside track to the results, a complete, health transformation, program and coaching with me, the personal attention that does not come cheaply. You can always type into the comments anytime on any live stream or any post. You just type into the comments, coach me, and I will reach out to you. That's all you have to do. And I will reach out to you via private message. And that's the reason that you need to be following me as a friend on Facebook so that we can private message each other. Like Melissa already asked to private message me, we gotta be friends in order for you to see my message and me to see your message, so remember that, okay? So um, what else am I gonna do in this group? I'm gonna send you reminders for live streams and other events and offers via email. I might post about them, you might get a notification. If you're not interested in something, just scroll on by, right? So. You know, you will get exactly what you put into this group. And if you ask me questions, you'll get the expert answers. And if you participate, you will learn. And if you learn more, you will do better. And if you seek out the info, you will grow. And if you take action on what you learn, you will get results. So that being said, my goal for this group is to be a catalyst for you to take action on whatever part of the journey you're at so that you move forward powerfully on your plant-based path. All right, so what are we doing in this group? Um, Linda says, thanks Naomi for answering so many questions over the years, life changing. Yes, 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 yes and yes. Okay, hey Lisa Coles, how are you doing? You did a beautiful job on your vision board, and I wanna know how it's going with you. Let me know. Um, all right, so what are we doing here in this group? I specialize in helping women achieve serious weight loss and measurable health results with a delicious, that's my specialty, right, Linda Combs? Whole food, plant-based, no oil lifestyle. The same way I did it for myself, I wanna show you how to do that for yourself. So what types of measurable health results am I talking about? This is specifically for newcomers who may have not heard this. Um, and if you have never heard this before, I, I, totally, I totally recommend that you watch the documentary Forks Over Knives on their website. You have to pay to rent it. Or What the Health on Netflix or Plant Pure Nation on YouTube and get some of this learning into your brain, the medical evidence for this health reversal. So here's some, some of the measurable health results that I'm talking about in this group. So number one is maintaining a normal weight, right? Freedom from obesity and being overweight forever, knowing how to accomplish this and loving it, okay? Reversing high cholesterol and high blood pressure, normalizing your blood chemistry, right? If you have high cholesterol or high blood pressure, we gotta bring that down into the normal levels. Same for pre-diabetes and type two diabetes, bringing down those glucose levels to normal levels. 
clearing blocked arteries. You will hear Dr. T. Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn show his research um, photographs of how a plant-based diet clears blocked arteries. Mind blown again. And here's some more. Relief from chronic pain, aches and pains, right? Risa, relief from the knee pain, um, relief from headaches and migraines. I've, most women who come in with migraine headaches or daily headaches, they have relief within one to three weeks and they're not having those headaches anymore. Digestive distress can be ending in one week. Anxiety and depression gets better because you suddenly feel that you do have some power over your life and that you are an agent for good in this world and this can relieve a lot of anxiety and depression. Um, cancer and cancer recurrence prevention. If you're a cancer survivor like me, this is so, so powerful for cancer recurrence prevention that I'm turning off cancer cells all the time. And relief from feeling constantly sick and tired, of feeling sick and tired, sick of yourself, sick of the loneliness, sick of the boredom, the fear, the failure, daily medications, the anxiety of feeling like you're in a prison of your own mind and body. These are the things that you can completely eliminate from your life with this lifestyle. So, um, it also means though, finding out how to make it work for you, your schedule, your body, your life. So you experience that effortless weight management and the chronic disease reversal that's affecting you. Now, here's the thing. It affects each of us differently, right? So me, I got breast cancer, but another woman has severe digestive distress and another woman only 30 pounds overweight has full-blown type 2 diabetes, while another woman who's 100 pounds overweight, she doesn't have diabetes, but she's got high blood pressure and high cholesterol. And some women who are not over, overweight at all, they're suffering from headaches, anxiety, bloating, digestive distress, aches and pains, hormonal problems, and more. So different for everybody, but the common denominator is eating the wrong foods. And that all hear me closely, all these conditions are progressive and they only get worse if we don't do something to change what we are putting in our bodies three or more times a day that's harming you. So what if instead, consider this, you put in things that healed you and helped your body three or more times a day. Doesn't that thought feel amazing that you're helping and healing your body with everything that you put into it. So let's start off with a question or let's finish off with a question. Um, go ahead into the comments and I want you to share your number one frustration with starting or sustaining a whole food plant-based diet right now. Is it planning meals? Is it food prepping? Is it oil-free cooking and not understanding? Is it making it delicious? I have no idea how to do that. Is it not being able to lose the weight and you don't know why and you're trying to? Is it your family and friends that are frustrating you? Is it not understanding how this whole food plant-based diet does all these wonderful health results? Or is it understanding plant-based nutrition, like where do you get your protein and all that stuff? So I want to hear your biggest pain point and I want I want to know so that I make sure that I produce videos and live streams and posts that actually help you and classes that help you because I'm here to be your coach and that means telling you the truth and always challenging you to grow. All right, so that being said, um, I said I was going to tell you how I did it. So, um, but first let's see what's, what everybody's saying. Okay. Um, Devin is saying meal planning and flavor. Yes. Maureen, not being able to lose weight. Uh, Donna says so many different views. Eat nuts and seeds or not because they're high in fat. Conflicting thoughts. That's definitely a big one. 
not being able to lose weight with Hashimoto's. Yes, I know that this can feel hard, but you gotta get the food part right. So um, there's really three main overarching principles you need to master that I mastered, that I teach my clients to master um, over time to make this whole food plant-based, no oil lifestyle change permanent and get the weight loss and the health results that you really want. Linda says she's here for encouragement along the journey and has come so far already. That is so true. Sherry says, I want to lose weight, 40 or so pounds and cholesterol, open up the arteries, reduce my risk of stroke and heart attack. My family also has a lot of cancer and I want to age gracefully. I want to talk to you about coaching. So when you're ready to talk to me about coaching, you type into the comments, coach me and I will reach out to you, anybody. All right, so here's the three main steps, okay? Step one is those plant power food skills, the prepping, the planning, the menu, the nutrition, right? If you can't get these food skills down, if you don't decide whether you should have nuts or not, you will not get the weight loss or the health results that you want. So how do you go from not knowing what to eat to knowing exactly what you want for a whole week and having it all in the fridge? So um, what I learned to do was to read labels, right? To know exactly what was harming my appetite mechanism in my body, what the food chemicals were doing to me, what the fats were doing to me, and learning um, what ingredients were harming me so that I could completely avoid them, and cleaning out my kitchen, right? Um, I created my uh, game-changing menu strategy, um, and I learned everything there is to know about plant-based nutrition so that I felt comfortable and confident knowing how I was gonna get my protein. So I wasn't worried about it anymore. I wasn't worried about eating rice. I wasn't worried about, I knew whether I should eat nuts or not. And so, um, so these are the things you need to master. So when you do this the right way, you stop feeling deprived, you stop counting calories or carbs, you don't restrict your portions anymore, or any other kind of diety stuff that just leaves you feeling guilty or binging, um, you just leave that behind. The other thing that happens is you heal your deadened taste buds so that, and your out of whack inner food regulation system so that you can trust your body's signals for hunger, hunger and feeling satisfied. All of those food chemicals, they trick you, okay? Um, you will know how to choose the best whole food plant foods and products at the grocery store. Um, you will know how to find reliable sources of whole food plant-based oil-free recipes. So knowing where to focus um, your cooking instead of going down the rabbit hole of all of YouTube. Um, so that you learn new cooking skills, the oil-free cooking skills. You learn how to use new ingredients that you may have never heard of and appliances, you know, as you are ready. I didn't learn them all at once. I learned them a little by a little at a time, right? Um, and you learn to confidently create your meals every single time, knowing how you're getting your protein, your calcium, your iron, your omega-3s, and more. And so you leave the overwhelm of rigid meal plans and complicated recipes, you just leave that in the dust, okay? So if, if you don't get all of that right, you will never have the weight loss that you really want. So think about what you're missing, okay? Step two are the mindset skills for behavior change. So many coaching programs will just, you know, they'll tell you the nutrition, they'll give you some kind of meal plan, um, but you need to get your mind on board for the positive changes that you really want to make. So uh, what I learned to do was to blast through my obstacles um, by bringing my true passions and my fears to the surface about my life and letting them fuel me instead of constantly shoving them down, right? We need to become a woman who wants to live and live out loud. We can't keep hiding and putting everybody else first, 
Are you a woman who puts everybody else first? Let me definitely know. So when you get your mindset on board the right way, you start to uncover and practice real life strategies for overcoming your food addictions. Most of you who are addicted to junk food are addicted. That's the word and it's by design of those food industries. Um, practicing real life strategies for overcoming self-sabotage, negative self-talk, and roadblocks that usually have you running for junk food over and over in a predictable pattern. Uh, Lisa says, I was never a fruit lover unless it was baked into a pie and coated in sugar, and now I completely love fruit, and it's my go-to snack. Taste buds awake. That's what I'm talking about, Lisa. Thank you for sharing that. That is wonderful. Um, when you get your mind on board focusing on what you want in your life and what you want to eat and what you want to do, you are activating a scientific system to literally hotwire your brain for the positive changes you want to make. And this is a huge part of the discussions we have in my groups and programs. And you learn how to become your own best friend so you can heal your heart and your hurt, whatever's driving you to the junk food and also elevating yourself to the top of the list in your life. No more of this people pleasing because you need to finally feel your own positive power in your life surge. That's what we're doing here, okay? So step three might've been actually the biggest thing that made the most difference in my healing journey. So um, these are the plant power lifestyle skills. So this means showing up anywhere in any situation without sacrificing yourself, your health, or your relationships, right? We don't want to preach. We don't want to push things down other people's throats. We want to focus on ourselves and we don't want to sacrifice ourselves either, right? So when you do this, you're, when you do this the right way, you learn how to evaluate any menu at any restaurant and ask for exactly what you want confidently and unapologetically. Unapologetically, that's the word. Um, you learn to practice many different strategies for eating out and handling social situations so that you find what works for you. We're all different, right? That's why the personal approach. Um, you wanna be able to manifest the inner strength to live your new vegan lifestyle with love and compassion never questioning or defending your convictions again. And the biggest one, widening your circle of friends, interests, and passions that align with your heart. So this was huge for me because I went vegan for my health, to, to turn off cancer cells. That was the reasoning in my head. But then, as I learned more, I became vegan for all the reasons. And this connected my health journey to the greater good. So standing up for the rights of all sentient loving beings, not eating or wearing or using animals, right? As well as for our environment by not participating in these industries that are destroying our earth. In these ways, I became a woman who would just not slip back into eating birthday cake at some event because I just wanted it. I just would never eat that because of those ethical values that um, I now had, okay? So I became a woman who would never slip back into those old eating patterns. I became a new woman and I never felt stronger, sharper, brighter, happier, or looked better. And on top of that, I think I'm aging in reverse, which is some kind of scientific miracle. So, um, so these are the things that I talk about constantly. So if you don't want to hear the word vegan and you don't want to hear what happens to animals um, and you don't want to become one of them, um, this group might not be for you. But if you love animals and you want to stand up for them and you want to align your food choices with your values so that your heart comes alive and shines, then this is the group for you. Okay, um, so 
Uh, so, so that's what I've learned. That's what I teach my clients. Those are the things you need to master to make this lifestyle change permanent. Okay. So if you want to learn this, if you want to, you know, come to these coaching live streams every single week and learn different things, then set your notifications to on for this group. Make sure that you follow me as a friend on Facebook so that you can message me when you want to, um, so that you see when I drop a teaching post that you want to learn, when I drop new recipes, when I talk about new coaching groups and classes, when I do new cooking things, when I'm hosting a Q&A live stream. You don't want to miss out. So come here every day just to check in, scroll the top post just to see um, if there's anything that you missed because this group is for action takers, right? So um, if you ask me a question and you know I give you a recommendation or a training or I say go watch these documentaries, I expect you to watch it, read it, learn it, and let me know what you think. I want to hear what you think about after you watch these things because when you tell yourself or you're telling me what you think, you're also telling yourself what you think. Instead of, you're bringing it back into your consciousness. And the more you bring it into your consciousness, the change that you want to make, the more power you're going to have toward making it. And the goal of this group is to push you forward, not just say, isn't she so great? Or doesn't she look so cute in that dress? Or I love what you said, but really to take action. That's what I want. So that's what we're doing here. I hope you're feeling inspired and motivated in all of those ways to kick your plant-based diet into high gear. 